один лайф. founder of CMOD. We're doing a mini portable projector for the kids. So in the modern age, kids want to be educated and entertained with modern technologies. And the only options we have right now is either phone or tablet. We're giving it to the kids and nobody feels happy about this one. So we created safe alternative for this one, which is a mini projector designed specifically for the kids. You can give it to the them, uh, you can give it to the kids. It comes with preloaded content, so they can use it right away from the box. And it also connects via Wi-Fi to Netflix, YouTube, Amazon Prime. So their content there is unlimited. You basically can watch anything. And um, we have started our sales uh, two and a half years ago. Since then, we've sold 50,000 units, and the demand is really huge. Means that the problem we are solving is really, really big. And um, yeah, we want just to share with you a couple more insights about this one, specifically in relation to Amazon. Amazon is one of our biggest channel, a lot of Amazon customers, a lot of happy customers. And if you check our Amazon listing, you will see that people either love us or they hate us. We love this state of mind, you know, like there are some people who are really crazy about it, us. And uh, what I want to do today with you, I want to make a mini review session with you. So I have printed some reviews over here and I will show it one by one and make my own comments on this one. So let's have a look, let's have some fun and uh, hopefully we'll get some uh, insights out of there. So the first one, let's start the most recent one. Uh, we've got it just recently on October 19 as a wreck and it's last um, Friday, yeah? And it's a verified purchase, so someone was already using this and uh, the, tech, the title here is easiest way to have fun. Yeah, we've got a bunch and a lot of reviews like this. So people just saying like, okay, that's cool. I can give it to my kids, kids can have fun. And obviously the most important thing here is our target audience. So guys, we are the product which is designed for the kids and families. The best use case, the best scenario for the kids is if they are from two to eight years old, they come to the device, they find their own use case, whether it's bedtime stories or they want to have a family night or they want to have a shadow puppet show and they love product and then it becomes a tradition for them. And yes, it becomes a traditional fun for the families and a lot of people just saying like, oh, I buy it for my nephews, I buy it for my uh, grandkids, I buy it for my kids and they love it. So that's not very interesting. Um, that's not very, very interesting uh, um, uh, review because it's a five stars. Paul, we have a question. Why is it safer for kids? Ah, uh, yeah, it makes sense. So this, it's safer for the kids because it's a projector. So technology safe is safer. First of all, it's a reflective light, not the direct light. So let's compare it with the first uh, rival, yeah, the phone. So when the kids are look to the phone, the, uh, the light, goes directly to them. And uh, when they look on the projector, the light goes reflected from the wall. So it's safer because the reflected light have much less blue, uh, blue light uh, in it. And uh, blue light is known for actually reducing your melatonin level. Uh, that's what drive kids mad uh, during the bedtime. 
and uh, also the um, uh, what else uh, the when you look at the projector so your focal point the distance on which you are actually looking at to the screen is always different because today you project here tomorrow you project on the ceiling day after tomorrow you project on the uh, table and you always have a different distance to the um, different distance to the uh, picture and uh, on the phone if you compare it's always the same distance so you always have it in the arm reach and that's actually the first uh, uh, reason why all the modern kids have a Maya appear because it's the same focal distance and the last one not the least one is a posture so like when you sit with the phone you sort of like always constrained and you like on the same uh, same uh, posture uh, always with the projector, it's always different. So today, again, you look at the opposite wall, so you lay down, tomorrow lay down in your bed, and day after tomorrow you play with your kids. So, I mean, this is naturally safer technology for the kids uh, in compare with the phones or tablets. Let's come back to the reviews, and let's uh, check the first one, uh, which is actually the one-star review. So I have it one here, it comes from our customer Wii, who is saying that it's not self-contained and it needs app and Wi-Fi. So yes, that's an awesome comment. There are a couple of, uh, let's say, how we call it, a couple of uh, armies, yeah? The one army is saying, I want more control. I don't want my kids to do anything without my permission. Give me app, give me control, like give me ability to set up the timer, give me ability to pick up the content, give me more, more, and more. And there are other people who are saying like, I don't want to use phone at all. So we sort of like in the middle, the device is self-contained in the sense that it comes from the box with the content. So you just unwrap it, give it to your kids, no need to connect anything, no need to connect uh, any device to project, it will simply work. So it's self-contained. If you want to watch Netflix, if you want to watch YouTube, you still can use the device without anything. So you just, again, get it, in there and you just um, look at this and uh, there is no need for the phone or for the uh, for anything we use the phone to connect it and to make it more convenient so typing on the phone is much much more easier selecting the content on the phone is much more easier and also you as a parent you can control what your kids watching the last things we want that kids are uh, uh, browse unkosher and uh, the browse like you know without controlling the YouTube in the six clicks they ended up on some weird cartoons or something so we have eliminated this possibility so when you use cinema you can watch only pre-selected uh, content so to answer uh, to our customer we so first of all the device is self-contained in the sense that it has preloaded content and it works without phone as soon as you selected something to play, you can remove your phone. And um, in second, yeah, I mean, there are a lot of customers who are saying, like, give me analytics, give me more and more control, and we'll listen to them too. So we try to find this balance somewhere in between. Do we have any questions over there? We have a question. How can you use it while, when traveling with kids? Ah, come on, that's very easy. That's a, one of the main purpose of the device. So. You remember I was speaking about the use cases. When kids find their use case, they cannot like uh, go away from it. And one of the biggest use cases for us is traveling. So this one is a very light device. So it's like only eight ounces and uh, you just get it. You took it with you. Actual kids can put it into their back and uh, can travel. And because it, uh, it comes with a memory inside, you can download here your favorite Netflix movies you can put directly here your Amazon Prime shows. You can upload any content you want from your home uh, library. And basically what it means for the kids that they always have what they want and what they know. And you know how kids are watching like repeatedly same and same content. They love this thing. So that's exactly how it works. You put it content he over here and it works without Wi-Fi, remote areas. If you go camping somewhere in Alaska, it's completely fine. So you will still have your beloved content over here. Paul, how many movies can you load up? Okay, so uh, the you can load up roughly, if we talk about the full-size movies, I would say 10, maybe 12 movies you can load up. But also the kids, uh, they prefer a short cartoons, you know, like, so I would say something like 100 cartoons or something like that you can put here. 
So the device comes with preloaded content, so we put the content over here. So even if you, get, if you forget something, you still will have some content over here. In order to take more space for your own content, you can always remove our content back into the cloud. So we have a cloud here connected to this device, and the content is always on the cloud. So if you need more space, you just remove the preloaded content to the cloud, and then uh, we basically, you basically upload whatever you want. If you want, at one point, you want to take back the content, you just download it from cloud and it's over there as well. Okay, so let's do one more uh, review. Uh, we have one here from Johnny back in August 23rd. And uh, I love this review, you know, like, not as easy to use as it was stated, difficult to use. Like, yeah, guys, what it's about, like, what do you mean difficult to use? Like, uh, do you have troubles to hit the button? Like, you know, it's all on top over here. Or what, do you have troubles to find the white wall to project it? Like, what do you mean difficult to use? Honestly, we created this one as a self-contained device for the kids from two years old. I have kids myself. Uh, my youngest daughter is four and a half years now, and she started to use uh, cinemas when she was uh, two years old. And one specific reason why I'm developing this thing, because she can control herself without my interaction. So it's their device, it's not your device. You give it to them, and imagine two, four years old, they can control itself. So they know how to switch it on, they know how to select their, love, uh, their most favorite content, and they know how to watch it. They probably don't know how to switch it off because they don't want to, but I mean, in terms of the easy to use, I beg you, it's not, I'm, I'm not beg you. I'm actually, I'm actually uh, pushing you to test yourself. That's really the easiest thing you ever tried, how to, to use it. And uh, our customer, Jenny, uh, or yeah, Jenny, like feel free to reach me directly, okay? So we at cinemood.com, feel free to reach me directly. Tell me how difficult is it to use. If it is, I will come back to this um, stream and I will publicly announce this. You know, guys, we were mistaken. It's really hard to use, but that's not gonna happen, okay? We have another question, Paul. How long does the battery last? Okay, so the battery lasts for continuous video play. Uh, the videos which are preloaded onto the, onto the device, it will last for five hours. In fact, uh, I just read the report from one user here uh, today morning. He was measuring it. So he said that I put it on and I measure it with my clock, so with my watch. So he said that basically it lasts for five hours and 20 minutes for continuous play. We also have audiobooks here. If you just use it for audiobooks, it will last for 13 hours. And audiobooks are perfect case for the travel too. Audiobooks are perfect case for the um, audiobooks are perfect case for the daytime use. You know, like in the morning when you don't want kids to spend too much time on the screen, you just put the audiobooks for them. If we talk about the uh, streaming, streaming is a little bit more heavy on the power and everything. So for streaming, we have something like from two to three hours, depending how heavy you use it. But normally, like I would say, two and a half hours of continuous streaming battery will last. So that's completely fine and it's more than enough. Because the use cases are limited by the time, for example, my daughter, she loves to use it um, during the bedtime. And on the bedtime, I don't want her to look a lot of uh, cartoons. So she basically watch one cartoon, five minutes long, and then we switch it off this thing. We also have a timer here, so I no need for me to switch it off. Uh, it will switch off uh, automatically. And uh, basically, when my daughter is um, switching it off, uh, sorry, when, when she's watching it once a day for five minutes, it lasts for me, the battery lasts for me five days, six days, like I charge it only on the weekend because it doesn't consume too much. So that's completely fine. One more question, Paul, a very good one. Yeah. As a busy mom, I want to manage the device as easy as possible and do not want to type every evening the same long name of the cartoon my daughter wants to watch. Can it be saved on the device somehow? Yeah, that's actually a cool question. Uh, we sort of like um, try to make it as easy as possible. So we want to make sure that your kids just 
go there, they get the device, and they basically switch it on, find their favorite content themselves, and watch it. So when you speak about the online streaming, Netflix and YouTube, we still want control to be in your hands. We want you to make sure that kids are watching the content you allow them to watch on the, uh, on the device. And therefore, we still like give it to you. So you need like to select it or you need, like they can select themselves, but they cannot browse on the YouTube. My suggestion, if you want to have their, your favorite movies inside the device, just upload it directly. So it has memory over here. You just take this um, uh, movie, whatever you want to upload over there, download to your computer, connect it to your computer. It will be just an external hard drive for the computer. You just copy it to the cinema and you will have a folder over here, which is called My Stories. It will always be there. And in this case, your daughter will just switch it on, uh, go to the My Stories, see her most favorite stories, select it. That's exactly how you need to do it when you're traveling because you want to make sure that the content is always there and you are not dependent on the Wi-Fi. That's how it works. So let's move on and let's see, um, let's see the question over here. So it's another one star review and don't get, don't get me wrong guys. I just skipped all five stars reviews. I mean, they're not as funny to read as the one star reviews, you know, like the five stars reviews are easy. Like how can I live without these things and all of other stuff. Like I skip all this completely. We have majority of fans uh, of the reviews are five stars, but I want to have some fun and just uh, look with you on the mini reviews. Okay. So uh, we have a review here from Lindani Movie. Mother, Mudella. I hope that I pronounce it right. Sorry if you're watching this uh, stream and I pronounce it wrong. But anyhow, you said that it's little less than expected. The space is too little to add videos for kids while not connected to the internet and it didn't support airplay for all video apps for Showmax. Ah, okay, that's good. It's two questions actually in this review. So first of all, the space. We spoke about this already. All the content in the cloud, just remove it to the cloud, free up all the space that you need is over here and you will be able to upload 100, 200 short movies for your kids. Like, believe me guys, more than enough. 10 full length movies is like more than what, two, 20 hours of the watching. That's also is quite good. So in terms of the space is too little, that's, uh, that's good. In terms of the uh, support airplay, we do support mirroring. So you can mirror your phone to the device. Guys, we cannot mirror DRM content. Let me tell you, DRM content is the content which is subject to the rights. So our fellows from Apple, our fellows from other streaming platform, they don't want you to project their content anywhere. So they want you to consume it on the device, which is specifically designed for this. That's why you can watch Netflix on this device directly, but you cannot mirror Netflix from your phone to the device because it's protected. It's not our policy. This is how the law works in this country. Yes, you cannot project anything from iTunes or something, but there are still apps and there are still some ways for you how to enjoy your library. So there is a way how to actually play your iTunes movies over here. And we have a customer who are doing this one. So yes, you can admire this, but that's not because of us. That's because of law. And that's a content play here. And um, what else? Yeah, you said that it's little less than expect. That's uh, funny because uh, normally we are getting uh, the feedback Wow, it's much more than I expected. And the reason for that is that we cannot explain you everything what is this in this tiny box. So, and again, it comes back to the use cases. For example, what we have here, we have interactive stuff. So something which you need to play, you need to stand up, you need to go and you need to play with this device. And then, for example, I'm talking about the Shadow Puppet Show. So the Shadow Puppet Show is basically how you make the shadows with your hands. And we teach kids how to do it. And basically, uh, imagine the play date and 10 kids occupy your house and for next two hours you need to take care of them. So what do you do? <laughs> okay, you go and you find the, what, expensive magician or whatever parrot show or whatever. You have all this mess in your house, but 
what do we have here? We have a shadow puppet show. So take the Cinemood, put them in the dark room, show them Cinemood, and tell, tell them, uh, make the contest who made the best uh, shadow puppet show with their hands. Believe me, they will be busy for two hours doing just these things. The only one problem, kids are not good with the uh, priorities. So they will not make a cure and they will fight to go to the screen. So that can be rough. But anyhow, a lot of people just coming back to us and say like, oh wow, if I know that these things is, exist there, I will buy just for this. On top of that, we have uh, books over here. For example, a lot of people want to teach kids how to read and want to have this tradition. So we have that too. On the bedtime, lay down to the bed, project to the ceiling, read them a couple of books. We have a specific books designed for the kids. So it's a big, big picture. And they actually, uh, uh, licensed from a Disney, directed from Disney. All the favorite uh, movies, all the favorite, uh, sorry, all the favorite titles, Frozen and other things. So, read them. Couple of Frozen. Read them Aladdin on the on the night. Enjoy this time together with your kids. So we basically making these bonds. We try to bring family back together so that you spend together quality time with your kids and you enjoy it. So. Yeah, it might be a little less than you expected, uh, dear Rindani, but uh, believe me, with more and more using, you will find your use case and you will, uh, make it, you will make it work for you, actually. What type of questions do we have? Over? We have a question. Do the covers just protect the device? We have those. Oh, yeah. Okay, so cool this things. is the cover. Yeah, the cover is the number one reason it's protecting the device. And number two reason, it's so cool. Look at this. Like, uh, I mean, this is like a character, isn't it? Not like a simple device. The one unauthorized feature for two years old is these uh, ears is perfect for chewing. You know, when they have teeth coming, they just chew the thing and uh, they use it as a, as, a, as a use case for that one. But the major function of the cover, it actually brings you extra content. Each cover brings you extra content and it works without any direction so we have a little chip over here so when you put it the cover on top of the device the device will recognize the ah okay this actually switch it up so the uh, the device will recognize which cover we put it on and it will change the interface on the device in a way that you will see uh, the new cartoons and you will see the menu uh, designed for these cartoons and all of this stuff. So this particular cover brings you, I, I, as far as I remember, 45 extra cartoons, which your kids will love, you know, so that's perfect. And speaking about the uh, durability, yeah, the covers protect the device, but let me show you one question which I have here. I have not only reviews, but I have a questions as well and I want to jump in and show you right away. So we'll do a little test over here. So yeah, okay, so here's a question. And basically we're thinking to get the device to our five years old twins. Yeah, we all know how twins can be crazy and uh, we're concerned that they will drop it and it will break. Okay, that's a good question. So imagine you got the device and device is, um, yeah, so you get the device and device is simply like that. So forget about the covers. We did a drop test of the device. So on the factory, we dropped the device from somewhere around um, two, yeah, somewhere around from two feet, we dropped to concrete floor and we, we switch it on and we try to make sure that it's still working. So right now on your eyes, what I want to do, I want to drop this thing and I want to check if it will still uh, be, you know, like uh, uh, functional. And uh, again, the, the nature form factor here, we have no screen, so nothing to correct. You know, my kids actually broken like five or six uh, phones, which I gave to them, uh, literally screens. And here we have no screen. So the little thing here is a projecting. So, Let's do it. Okay, so should we try from two feet? Yeah, something like that. Okay, let's try it. Boom. So we dropped it. Again, look, this is still the same device. So it's still uh, working. Let's try it, make it harder. Okay, so we drop it from my height. Okay, I'm 5.8. Uh, 5 so, okay, sound of it sounds uh, 
uh, scary for me, but it's still good, you see, like it's still full content. Okay, so, okay, little click here. Okay, let's try to make it harder, okay? What are we doing here? Six feet? Um, da, 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 da. Yeah, okay, <laughs> let's try. One, two, three. Boom. Okay, here we go. Six feet, probably not the best case, you see? It's open, but let me show you the trick. Yes, it's open. Do not open your device like that. But let me show you the trick. You just do it this way and it come back. So complete. we have some people who actually drop it. We have some people who drop it uh, somewhere in a place where they don't want to drop it. And uh, it's still working. Of course, do not need to um, put it up. Do not need to play soccer on it, but it's still ca full contained device. So you still can use it even after the drop. And uh, we try to make it durable. We know that the kids are actually doing this. And let me show you, it's working. So yes, Magic. The, case, <laughs> the case might be um, open, but again, clip it on back, clip it back, and it's still working, okay? Cool. Paul, is it waterproof? I remember mm. some of the customers wash it in the washing machine. <laughs> yeah, no, unfortunately, it's not waterproofed. And the reason for that, guys, um, so first of all, I can hardly imagine like when you need to, to be waterproof. We have a couple of kids who put it into the bus or into the toilet. Unfortunately, it's not waterproof. But um, yeah, also let me share one thing with you. So the, we are the only one projected on the market without fan. It means that it's completely silent. And I'm speaking about this one in terms of the waterproof because we need a lot of, uh, you know, holes to make it, uh, to make air come into the device. But we believe that to be silent is much, much more valuable than to be waterproof. Because on the waterproof, you just do not put it into the water, it's still working. But silent is most important. Think about this one. That's actually not valued as much as you need to be valued. Think about this one. You can watch the movie without any external sound. Even if you watch the movie on this device from Apple, like laptop, after a while, there will be this, you know, helicopter sound, like it's all, it's, it's your fan, which is actually trying to switch on, um, not trying, but which actually is working to cool down the sink. For us, we never have this sound. And we have a couple of customers who are coming back to us and saying like, oh, I don't like it because you made the device for the kids without the fan. And now I cannot watch the adult version of the device because all of them have the fan. And you know, but it is as it is. So I, we cannot change it here. And we're very proud that it's, uh, it's um, silent. Okay, so another question. We do have a question from the Amazon customer's son. Are you going to do Minecraft and or Roblox on the device? And another question very similar from Michael J. Doesn't Cinemoot have games? Yeah, thank you for the question, Sam. And uh, who was the second one? Michael J. Michael, yeah. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Sam. I'll probably need you to connect with my son. This is a question he's asking me, not every day, but he's asking like, Hey, Dad, where is my Minecraft? I love Minecraft, just add it to the Cinemoot. We are thinking about adding this to the Cinemoot. It's not there yet. And honestly, we sort of like in the middle of um, uh, decision over here. So from one point, when we ask our customers, they are saying, I, want, I do not want kids to spend all the time on the device. On the other hand, we say, uh, yes, we want the games and everything else. So we sort of like thinking like if we add Minecraft here, the kids will spend much more time there and they will play all the day long. So we are thinking about the games, which will be a little bit more specific for the device, which will encourage kids to spend time actively to consume the content. And in this sense, I want to present you the black version of the device, which we literally released on the market yesterday. So search for Cinemus 360, this device will come with the games. Not Minecraft, not Roblox, but it will have some specific games specifically developed for this type of device. 
So I don't want to tell a lot about this device because it's not on Amazon yet. It will be available from 1st of December. But basically the difference between this device and this device is that the black one is capable to uh, project the 360 content, the content around you. And it's opened up the whole new universe for you. Imagine kids staying on the moon and uh, seeing the seeing the moon how the Buzz Aldrin saw it uh, at the day when he was uh, landed over there. And he can uh, turn around and see to the sun, he can turn around and see to the earth, and he can see uh, below. So all of this is basically will be capable in this device, but it comes only on 1st December on Amazon. Check our website, 360cinema.com. This device comes with some sort of games, like remember the Shadow Puppet Show, it's sort of like active screening. And no, we are not yet releasing Minecraft or Roblox. Uh, yeah, you joined the forces with my son. He is pushing me to make it happen over there. Okay, cool. Let's come to some funny reviews. I love this one. So look at this. This guy's saying that it contains Russian Chinese spyware. Guys, I love it. Yes. You know what? We're watching you buy this device we're watching you sure we have all the uh, all the mail for it which can be by the way which can be found by simple customer you know like anyone who can buy it on amazon can uh, basically debug it and find our spicy uh spy uh, spy software it's a joke right sure <laughs> Yeah, it's a sarcasm, you know, I, I probably need to have a special, a special uh, <laughs> sarcasm now. Yeah, sa sa sarcasm uh, sign. But yeah, that was a sarcasm. But guys, honestly, like Russian, Chinese, why not South Korean, you know? Okay, well, I'm original Russian, but I'm Australian. So honestly, did you find any Australians by where there? You know what, uh, like down under there, we're looking at you too. So like, Come on, it's hilarious, guys. We submitted this case to Amazon. Uh, we put all lawyers in, so that will be removed occasionally. Like, guys, if there is a malware, like, I probably shouldn't talk with you. Yeah, I should be somewhere in jail. So, like, do not need to make it really fun. We were laughing about this uh, review. Thank you for Jihood. Jihood, seriously? Russian, Chinese software? Okay, take care, but uh, yeah. Honestly, uh, the device is certified, there is nothing wrong with it, and also we are not collecting your data, we are fully compliant with all regulations, with all security, so that's completely fine. I have another one here, so look at this, uh, uh, called Save Your Money, I don't know why, <laughs> it's also saying Save Your Money because it's Russian. I'm not a racist, but it's Russian. Hey, very nice to meet you, Brookies, Brookcast. Very nice to meet you. Yes, uh, I'm happy that you're not racist, but your review is somewhat racist. So guys, um, it's not related to the money at all. It's all related to the value, you know? We're generating value for you. So if think about this one. If you're a busy mom and you have two kids, one kid who is constantly asking you, mom, 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 how big is the value in two hours of free time for you? Think about this one. Like, who knows? You know, like, you can go and you can hire a nanny for this one. Or you can give them CD mode and they will be busy for two hours and it still will be fine for them. It's not that uh, unhealthy as if you give them full. Or you can go with your husband to the restaurant and you have your kids with you. The normal scenario would be what? The total mess everywhere, like kids going crazy. Are we done yet? When we're going home? and you have no time with your husband, you have no time with your family, but give these things to the kids and they spend time on this thing while you spend time on the dinner with your uh, hubby. And uh, basically, yeah, I cannot value these things, you know, like I just know that this one is worth of what it costs. It gives you a lot of time, a lot of time. Okay, do we have any other question or we move forward? Moving forward. Good. So the next review, I love this too, you know, like the guys, uh, the Amazon customer just come here and said like, very dark, poor picture, really dark. Yeah, I mean, I, I cannot tell anything here, like, yeah, it might be dark, but 
I mean, it's not dark, it's just a project, you know. So the projected technology is actually depends on the distance which you have from the wall. So if it's a daylight, like direct light, which I have today in my office. So in this case, you can see the screen, it's just will be uh, smaller. And it's still bigger than your tablet, bigger than your phone, but you know, yeah, on the direct light, the projected light will be uh, a little bit limited. But let me tell you, in a dark room, this screen size will be up to one something somewhat like eight to nine percent customers who are buying this device and they have no kids and you know how they use it during the night time they use it as a portable netflix they just see it in the they just see it in the uh during the night time on the big big screen 150 inches they see it so the picture is bright the picture is really vivid but um, yes, I mean, on the direct light, any projector will be fainted. So um, I would say that, uh, and again, think about it. This device is targeted for the kids, not for you. And your kids, they will find a way how to use it. So kids are much, much more flexible than we are. So for them, it's not dark, it's just extra fun. Look and find for the dark place, build the castle and go inside and project over there on the camping project to the to your boat or project to your uh, army um, and that's uh, all fun which kids can have so um, this is not a dark at all this is a vivid very bright picture and believe me you will enjoy it okay so um and this one uh, next one i love this one too so it says overpriced crap okay and it says that it's overpriced because you could literally buy a tablet that will do more than this yes you can do a tablet it will do more than this but it will also make your kids unhealthy they will get uh closing they will get problem with their posture and they will get problem with the development because blue light is decreasing melatonin, which is actually responsible for development. And they wouldn't be able to create magic in the tents yeah. or on the ceiling. I'm not, I'm not speaking about all this fun stuff, cinema, atmosphere, and you know, like the feeling of bringing family together, social experience. You watch the project all together, project all together, not only one person. But anyhow, let me uh, point on this thing about the tablet. So yes, you can buy the tablet, but you don't want to. Because every time you give them a tablet, every time you give them a phone, you feel guilty about this one. So this is a safe alternative. Therefore, like we, we call it responsible parenting. And you know what funny is? We, we, we actually find that if you have a second child, you are much more likely to buy Cinemood because you have a lot of crap with a tablet with your first child. And you know already that it's bad for their eyes, bad for their posture. You don't want to repeat it. So you are actually searching for alternative, for the healthier and better alternative for the, for the second child. So I encourage you not to wait the second child. Just do it for the first one too. And remember, tablet, what have tablet? Tablet have screens. What screens tend to do? They tend to broke. Think, you drop it down, it's still working. That's a perfect thing for the kids. Yeah, it costs 350 bucks or 400 bucks, but it will, it will last very long time. So, let's uh, move forward. I have the last review over here. Um, yeah, the Disney content, that's also good. So look at this. Uh, we have a customer, Dark Sparkle, and she's, uh, I assume that uh, it's she on the picture, and she's saying that it's just junk. And the Disney content is a joke, seriously, there's no Disney movie. And just some PDF picture book and one or two weird mini instructor cartoons, totally a bait. Okay, guys, so what we never try to promote what we do not have. Whenever you buy it, we try to say that educational Disney content. In a sense, what we try to bring here, not the whole universe of Disney. That's probably Disney will bring when they come up with this device. 
uh, or we will do it to ourselves when we sign up for the Disney Plus uh, release, which is going to happen soon. But what we try to make happen here, we try to bring the content, which is not only entertainment, but educational. And PDF books, in this sense, there are a lot of people who want to educate their kids and teach them how to read and show them how they read themselves and then the kids switch and read themselves. So in this sense, we actually went to the Disney, we signed a deal with them and we got 67 pieces of content, which is educational, 40 eBooks and 27 uh, Dark Sparkle, not two, 27 con uh, pieces of video content from Disney. And that's a starting point where we hope that your kids would love this sense of education. They would love to watch the high quality, uh, as always with Disney, highest quality content and get something into them. So they still get something educational. And we always try to be very, very precise from very, very beginning. If you check our listing on Amazon, anywhere on our packaging, it's saying educational content Disney. We never try to say that it's a full length uh, movies. Paul, we have a comment from Orasol79, great comment. She's saying that we also took it to his daycare to share with his friends because he loves it so much. They're all four years old. Nice. Yeah, I have these shame days in my uh, kindergarten uh, where my daughter is going. She took it from, uh, from time to time and uh, yes, that's a perfect thing. Actually, we have a couple of kindergartens. Uh, you know what they're doing? They need to calm down kids when they uh, when there is a nap time, and like kids are running around, you know, they need to go to their bath and they need to have this nap, especially the young kids. So we have a couple of kindergartens who actually use this thing to calm them down. So they put this device and they put it uh, the timer on it, so the kids lay down, they enjoy this time, and they watch it, and then they switch it. We uh, have uh, so-called relax content over here uh, and it sounds of the forest sounds of the ocean something like that so they switch it on and the screen is actually turned off and you still hear this all sounds beautiful and relaxing and kids fall asleep very quick we know that some kindergartens use it uh, yeah we don't sell it yet to kindergartens uh, too, too much but um, yeah we love that uh, it's fine that it's used so um, yeah, I need just um, five more minutes. I'm finishing here. I want to show you a couple of questions. You know, there are not only reviews on Amazon, but also questions. So one question which I like, is it compatible with the sauna sounds? And there is an answer from our customer, which I love. He's answering, no idea I use both. <laughs> That's hilarious, yes. But it's also, you know, like sonus is not so far from both. And basically it's just tell you that it's use uh, Bluetooth audio you can connect any sound system to this device. It has internal built-in speaker, which is powerful enough. A lot of people just use this one, but if you want, you can connect uh, the sound system. Another question which, uh, which I want to share with you, will it work without Wi-Fi? I was surprised, honestly, I was surprised how many people just thought that it will work only with Wi-Fi. So, guys, it will work without Wi-Fi. Yes, it comes with preloaded content. In fact, I encourage you to use all, all possibility of the device. Download your content and use it without Wi-Fi. Your kids will love it and they will say uh, thank you. Yes, it works without Wi-Fi. So uh, that's probably it. We have not that many uh, uh, negative reviews on the, on the device and again, uh, a lot of them are not mean, you know, like uh, other than this Russian spyware uh, and Chinese spyware, I wouldn't say that anything of them are hurting me directly. It's just a normal. Some people love it, some people hate it. We love this thing, you know, like we love that we are not somewhere in the middle where no one is saying like, okay, I don't know. And um, yeah, the final from my side, let me share with you a couple of five stars review. Let's uh, finish this stream on the, on the high note, you know, on the high wave. Yeah, I mean, I encourage you, buy this thing, it's uh, risk-free, if you don't like it, you always can return it to us, but buy this thing um, and check it yourself, like, look at these uh, reviews, loving it, amazing portable movie theater, portable and has a great picture, 
And there are many, many more of these. I just do not want to print it on uh, countless and I don't, don't want to bribe myself. But we are really proud what we have created here. Honestly, you will be surprised with the quality. You will be surprised with how many use cases you have. And which most important, you will be surprised how long your kids are actually using this. In fact, 43% of our customers, kids, are still using this in two years. That's a long time. 43% still keep using this in two years. And I honestly, I'm sure that you will love it. Go try it, check it. If you have any troubles, feel free to contact me directly. My name is Paul, again. Feel free, my email is paul at cinema.com, support at cinema.com, write us directly. Say like, you know what, I watched this stream from Paul, he promised this thing, it doesn't work, I want um, to uh, complain about this one. I will contact you directly, I wish to speak with you. Honestly, invite you to our office, and we will figure it out. But believe me, if you have kids, two to 10 years old, even 14 years old, they will love it. They will love it and they will use it very long time. Thank you very much. Enjoy seeing it. Bye-bye.